What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Philip Hergovich versus Jaylee Zhang. This is going to be a very good heavyweight fight. I'm looking forward to this one, right? Let's talk about El Animal, Philip Hergovich, the Olympic bronze medalist in the amateurs. This is the first fight of the year for him. These two were supposed to fight in May, I believe, May or April, but Hergovich's father passed away and he wasn't in the right headspace, which is completely understandable. But he's a very special heavyweight fighter. Whenever he touches you, he leaves a mark and punches you with bad intentions. He's a very heavy handed fighter. For a big man, he's got very good footwork, he takes good angles, he can cut off the ring well, he has a long reach, and he knows where to place his punches. How to keep you out of reach and at the end of his punches, at his jabs, he's very well trained and very well coached. I'm a person who really dials in on body language, right? You can tell how the fight is going. By looking at a person's body language, you can tell if a person is in trouble by their body language. You can tell if a person is scared, depending on their body language. But Hergovich, he's very even keel, always composed, never seems rattled, but always is in the notion of, I'm here, I'm in the moment, I'm going to take my time, you're not going to fluster me. And that is what makes him so special because he always looks composed. He never looks rattled or flustered by anything. Even when he gets hit, he just seems like, you know what? It was a good shot. You got me, but I'm still here. This is going to be a very good test for him. This is going to be his toughest opponent today. We saw him fight Rydell Booker and Rydell Booker had never been knocked out before. Now he didn't come in with the best shape, but he still stopped someone who hasn't been knocked out before. Right. So I thought that was a very good win for him and how he finished it. Hergovich is an athletic big man. He doesn't look the quickest, but he surprises you with his movement, his accuracy. And most of his fights end by KO. So you know he has the power. But when you have the power and the accuracy, that's a dangerous combination to have. So it'll be interesting to see how he puts all that together against Shaylee. Zhang. Let's talk about Zhe Li Zhang, the Olympic silver medalist from the 2008 Olympic Games. This man is a giant. He's another heavy-handed fighter. He's 39 years old, 24 wins, 19 by KOs. But in his last two fights, they didn't go past the third rounds. He constantly walks you down. He's patient. And when the opening comes, he'll take it. In his last fight against Scott Alexander, the fight ended so quickly. I was like, wait a minute, what did I what did I miss? I didn't see that one coming. Right? Alexander came and landed a shot, but in that same sequence, Zhang came with a straight left hand, and Alexander was out before his head touched the mat. I'm thinking to myself, man, this big man has hand speed like that. He has reflexes like that. I was like, man, that there are some things that is God given. Right? There's some things that you can't teach. There are some things that God just gives a person. And this is one of those things. And when you look at Jay Li Zhang, he, he does some things that not a lot of people are able to do. Zhang has great hooks. He has great power. When he throws his jabs, though, they aren't power jabs to try and fluster you, but he kind of throws them to set up his shots, to give you something to look at, and then fires off with the shot that he wants to land, whether that's a body shot, whether that's an overhand right, whether that's a shot to the temple with the right hand. This is a southpaw with a strong right hand. Not a lot of heavyweights I've seen that can be able to do that. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. And I'm not sure what the odds are for this one. Maybe Hergovich is the favorite because he's younger. But I'm not expecting this one to last the full fight. In this fight, I'm going with Hergovich. Because Zhang isn't a fast starter. He doesn't always throw a lot of punches early. I think Hergovich has better footwork than him. I think he'll use that to his advantage. There will be times when I can see these two are standing right in front of each other and to throw right there inside the pocket, but I'm not expecting a lot of those shots. Both these men know the dangers of their power, and so they're not going to just go in and take that lightly. They're not just going to go in and make this a slug vest, even though it could be. There'll be moments of that, but I don't think that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a very strategic fight. We're going to see an exciting fight. We're going to see both men have opportunities to strike in the corner as well, too. But I think this fight comes down to three things. 
I think it's going to come down to who has the better movement, who is not going to be complacent in the ring. I think this is also going to come down to who is the more accurate puncher, the precise puncher. And I think it's going to come down to timing. Because the thing about with big men is when they shoot for the stars, when they try to take your head off, oftentimes it leaves them susceptible to being countered. Who is going to have the better timing in this fight? To me, I think El Animal is going to have the better timing. His movement is going to be better, and I think he's going to be the more precise and accurate puncher. But again, this is a 50-50 fight. It can go both ways. And I think this fight could steal the performance of the night. Like this, like it has the potential to do just that, in my opinion. So I'm going with Hergovic. It's going to end by KO. I don't know what round, but I think it's going to end by KO. It could go to the cards, but I just I just don't see that happening in this fight based on their previous fights, in my opinion. But who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comments section below. And how do you have it going? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App Panda will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.